Good morning and welcome to This is Another Day. Today's scripture reading comes from the Song of Songs, chapter 2, verse 12. The flowers are springing up and the time of the singing of birds has come. Yes, spring is here. This scripture passage may seem an odd one to reflect upon since we are in the early days of November. And just in case it has slipped your mind, it is also election day 2020. It feels as if the country has been anxiously holding its collective breath and not joyfully singing as we've journeyed toward this very moment. Will we be able to exhale no matter what happens after today? As we all have experienced, 2020 thus far has been quite a stressful and exhausting voyage, replete with social, environmental, and health-related pandemics, as well as our own personal struggles. Political conflicts have endeavored to overshadow whatever peace did exist. It has been a tough time on many fronts. But it makes me think of a quote from author Octavia Butler in her book, Parable of the Sower, a dystopian tale which seems apropos to our current times, where she writes, The world is full of painful stories. Sometimes it seems as though there aren't any other kind. And yet I found myself thinking how beautiful that glint of water was through the trees. Are we able to discern glimmers of beauty and spring-like rebirth, even while standing within the forest of our times? This is another day to remember that God is still God, no matter what transpires after today. While the Apostle Paul was suffering from a thorn in the flesh, a situation which caused him great anguish, God told him, my grace is sufficient for you. In other words, I'll take care of you. God promises to never fail or abandon us. So Lord, as a world and as a country, we are in the midst of a difficult season. Allow us today to find moments of joy and hold them close to our hearts, knowing that you will continue to prove your faithfulness over and over again, today and every day. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you again. Bye.